Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do the long awaited, yes I know, oh I dropped my chapstick. The long awaited, yes I know you've been waiting on pins and needles with bated breath, just anticipation and now you are releasing the breath you didn't even know you were holding. <sighs> of my 2021 reading wrap up. So like I said, today we're doing my 2021 reading wrap up. Um, this is gonna be super quick um, just because I really don't want to go into all of the different books um, that I read. Um, I will do a favorite a favorites and a least favorites um so definitely just look out for those i'll link them above and below when they get posted and recorded um but i definitely just wanted to let you guys know how i ended 2021 so i have a new notebook i've been trying to use a notebook um to keep track of things um a little bit better so <laughs> In 2021, my reading goal was to read 48 books for the year. Yes, I understand some of you are just book reading experts and you all's goals are like 200, 300, something ridiculous. Looking at you, Steph, and looking at you, Charles, I understand. But my goal was 48 books, okay? That is my goal, okay? For some, that is a strong goal. So don't be ashamed if your book, if your reading goal is 12 books, and one book a month, that is for you. These goals are for you, not for anybody else, okay? Anyway, so of those 48 books of my goal, I read 73 books last year. Okay, that is amazing for me. I am surprised. Um, I finished up school last year. I got married and had a honeymoon last year. So it really wasn't until the summertime um, and then after honeymoon did my reading kind of ramp up <laughs> so those first few months of the year uh, nah, 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 nah. let's see I read nine five-star reads I read 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 four star reads y'all I didn't double check this math I was literally going through my goodreads list like just making hash marks I don't even know if this adds adds up to the 73 books I don't know and then I read nine nine three star reads and one two star read the fact that I've made something two stars means it was and terrible and honestly some of those four stars were probably three and a halves but you know goodreads doesn't do half stars maybe i should start going over to that other app and so because three and a half i've been in a very big three and a half mood like you're not quite great to be four but you're not like as bad as three like i enjoyed you but mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. it's all right right okay anyway um so I did realize that I was reading very heavy on the romance. I have just become a heavy romance reader. And you know, I am gonna stop apologizing for that. I'm gonna stop apologizing for that. You know, people are like, oh, you've just been reading romance. Well, do you read this like worldly and sophisticated book? No, 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 no. Well, what if you're reading smut? Fucking smut. What you gonna do about it? Nothing, you're not gonna do anything about it. Well, have you read Fifty Shades? Yes. And I've read better. A lot better. Do you need better recommendations? I got you. I got you. They like, just don't talk about me. Okay. Um, I read a lot of dark romance. <laughs> a lot of dark romance. I'm becoming a villain lover. Maybe that's why my husband is a Slytherin and he likes the sight. And I am a Ravenclaw and I geared towards the Jedi myself. But I love him a lot. That might say something about me. 
it might be more foretelling than horoscopes and astrology. Like what does your reading, your romance reading preference tell you about your personal romance life? Huh. You know what? I already need counseling and I don't need to dive into this. I don't need to dive into this. Um, I've also read, I also read a lot of age gap. Maybe not a lot. A lot is a strong word for that. I don't remember reading a lot of age gap, but I do remember some of my tops or some of my like higher rated ones were definitely age gap. Both, both sides of the age gap, older woman and older male. I do not discriminate about who gets to be the older one. <laughs> okay. If you want to be a silver fox, go for it. If you want to be a cougar, go for it. Like, mm, I don't care. Um, I feel like that was like all of my notes um, for my 2021 reading goal. Um, reading wrap up. Guys, of course, I read most of these on my Kindle. Some of these I read in conjunction with my book club I failed at, um, which I really need to do better now that I have more time to think about it and do it. Um, but yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Of course, you can always see what I am reading on my Goodreads. It automatically updates, automatically shows. I'm not good at putting things into bookshelves on my Goodreads. I don't really do that, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, guys, this was really short, really easy. We love to see it. Um, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell notification button. Hit that like button. Because I know you like this short and to the point. Don't forget to follow me on all of the social medias, including the Goodreads. Don't forget to once again hit that subscribe button. And until next time, keep turning the pages.